want to say hi patty say hi patty yeah yeah okay we are at biotech brewing in louisiana just got here long drive today but we pulled in and this place is hopping hardly a place to park especially for us and our 30 foot airstream behind us so we'll see what happens here there's already a harvest host already parked so i'm not exactly sure what's going on or where we're going to park but courtney's figuring that out now and let me show you the parking lot here yep 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 very busy that's a good sign though that's a really good sign i think they have live music right now as soon as courtney gets back i will report to you what we're doing and um yeah patty doesn't seem concerned it is rocking in there for mardi gras it's gonna be a lot of fun um i think the plan is that we'll just set up after everybody leaves at five so we can just kind of leave it here as long as we think we're safe here um, and then go in and have some fun and then bring the girls back into the airstream and then we can come and set up afterwards. Okay, that works. So mm -hmm. we'll just stay here then? Yeah, come out and see if you think we're safe here. All right. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine because there's another entrance down there anyway. Okay. So this is just a secondary entrance. All right, I think we're good. Go have some fun. It, it fun. Oh boy, let's do it. Oh, all right, well, a couple people just left, so we're gonna go ahead and move now, see if we can just get this done. There's spots right there that we're gonna try to take. All right, mission accomplished. We took these spots here in the back because a few people left, and we are good to go. Hi, Penny. Here we go. It's always something new. After a long travel day, this was something to look forward to? Yup. Put it mildly. All sorts of good stuff. We're not driving anywhere tonight, so I'm trying a few. Yeah. Meanwhile, they also do ama amazing pizza here, though I heard they just ran out from the Cajun saucer. And on Sundays, they have live Cajun music. This place is hopping, everyone's super nice. And we had to pick up a bottle of a chocolate stout. This one, very good. One of the best I've had. Very chocolatey. So, thanks for that. You're welcome. Now Steve gets to have it uh, later in the year on our travels. We find it in the bottle. We always try to pick one up. And we are back at the Airstream. I can't tell you how unique of an experience this is. We are in the parking lot of a brewery that we were just at enjoying all of their beers with a couple of YouTubers that uh, follow us. Subscribers Phil... who follow us. Yes, yes, subscribers that follow us, Phil and Lynn. Thank you once again for coming out, by the way, and appreciate the growler. I appreciate, see you, and the king cake. You, you know what gets at my heart. Yes, and they brought us some sweets. Fan, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, you can go to these places in these out of the way areas and really get to know towns that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to see. It's always a new experience. You have no idea what to expect, but we haven't had a bad experience yet. Especially if you like li uh, live music. They had it here, Cajun kind of music, very nice. Um, it wasn't like blasting in your ear so you can still carry on a conversation which I personally prefer. 
So now we'll see, we're right up against the road, but I don't think it'll be too loud. We have two other Harvest House people here in the parking lot with us. We're yes. just gonna settle in, have a little bit of dinner. I think I'm making up some leftover scrambled and some eggs and uh, have a good night. That's right. Hopefully. We'll let you know how the night goes tomorrow morning. Yes. And I'll, I tell you how it really is. Like last Harvest Host was a little bit loud. I'm not just gonna tell you all the positives. If it's loud, I will tell you it's loud, but I don't know yet. So I'll tell you that tomorrow morning. I think it would be a good night though. This road isn't nearly as busy. It was warmer this morning than it was tonight. Yep, cold front came in. So it's gonna be a chilly evening. I already have the catalytic heater running. But that's what's great is that we got here after a long day's drive, could just sit outside, enjoy some beer, and enjoy some ambiance, talk to people, and now we're back in our house in the parking lot having a warm cooked meal and heating it up. So like, what's more perfect than that after a long day's drive? We're not having oatmeal here. This is eggs and pork and deliciousness. It's like mm. lots of delicious Mexican leftovers mixed in with eggs. Last night was relatively quiet. This isn't a really busy road, but when there is a car, you definitely hear it. So I would say that it's, it, it was pretty quiet. However, that neon sign right there, yeah. <laughs> There's a little sliver of light that gets in here above the curtain. I kind of saw that at night. So if you're bothered by a neon light and you're on this side of the parking lot, that might bother you. Otherwise, it was a nice, quiet, very calm, very relaxing night. Come on, good girl. Here's the area around, lots of open farmland, but nice big parking lot. We parked to this side. There was another harvest host last night that left really early, parked there. We parked here initially, so I think we could have stayed here if we needed to, but very big. Very big lot, as you can see when it's when there's a lot of rain, it can flood here and there a little bit, but really not a problem. And uh, nice brewery, lots of beer, it's all good. It's all good. Just got done making some coffee and I did a speed test while I was making it, because that's one last thing that we promised to show you. Let's see, we have 21 megabits down, 16 megabits up. If you don't know what I mean when I say megabits, check out the last video. I explained a little bit towards the end. And that is really, that is really good. And that is with our WeBoost 4GX, using that with the directional antenna pointed, I believe that's south. So, good Verizon here. So I told them my impressions. What were your impressions of last night? How quiet it was, the brewery in general? I slept so well last night. <laughs> so I was perfectly fine. Our catalytic heater kept us nice and warm. And the road only is busy, I think, during the day. So that didn't bother me. Yeah, at about 5 a.m., 5.30 maybe, I heard an increase in traffic. But this is also a weekday. Yes. So that's natural. Yes. But last night was a lot of fun. I wish it had been a little bit nicer weather. But they had amazing live music. They had that the pizzas being made, though they ran out. It got so busy for Mardi Gras. Um, great beer selection. I think it was just kind of a fun place. Everyone was chatting with everybody else. And yeah, I really liked it. I really liked it. It was like the perfect place to come to after like a really long day of travel before we do another day of travel today. It just gave us a nice little fun place to be rather than like an RV park or something. What should our viewers do if they want more Harvest Host videos? They should check out our, our playlist. Oh, wasn't that an awesome yeah, prompt? That was. They, they, I'll link that up above. Every time we go visit a Harvest Host, we make a video and we will put we put them all together in a playlist, which you can find on our channel, but I will also link it right up above so that you can watch them all. And lots more to come because pretty much every overnight that we're going to be doing this year as we travel, I'm going to try to make a Harvest Host. Because there's so many of them and they're so much fun. What do you think, Penny?